let me take the second part, which is this idea of increasing satisfaction, loyalty, and other key metrics for your business. First off, psychology may help you with that, but more importantly, guys, you guys have a good offer. Um, psychology can only do so much. So to increase satisfaction and loyalty and some other key metrics, first, make sure you have a great offer, right? It has to deliver, you know, the value that you're promising to people. Then after that, you better build that offer based on the deep empathy that we've been talking about. Make that human connection and really help somebody reach their aspirations. Now, once you do that, once you know you have an offer that's been built around helping people you know, uh, reach their aspirations, the next part is, okay, how do I use psychology to get people to recognize that that program's out there? How do I make a program that really fits with their intuition, that makes them feel that they, they've been heard? That's where you use mind state marketing. That's where you identify somebody's mind state and build your program, you know, your, uh, your offering, your service, your coaching program to fit with that mind state. So if you wanna really incorporate, you know, and increase customer satisfaction and loyalty, have a good offer that meets on people's needs, but then bring in psychology, specifically people's goals, motivations, and their focus, you know, whether they're optimistic or cautious in their approach, build those into, into your marketing and you're gonna be in a good place.